I'm a little pissed because I didn't know the race had returned. I thought they canceled the race till tomorrow, so I missed this motherfucker. But I'm going to show you something that is very common that they do when they want a winner. Now, as you see, Joey Legamo is clearly going to win this race. It's only like one lap left, but watch what happens. This is a very common theme they use. They do this all the time to stop somebody from winning. Matter of fact, Joey Legamo won a couple years ago this very same way, but look what they do to him this year. Clearly going to win the race. Clearly going to win the race. He does that on purpose. They always do this. They crash people on purpose. Watch this. There's no reason for him to, to, to push here, to give him that push. Like 34 is his teammate, so he's trying to help him. But you see that they do this kind of shit all the time in NASCAR. It's very common to wreck somebody so they won't win. See, there was no reason to hit him. There was no reason for him to push or bump draft. That's what they've been calling this shit. But he does that so he wasn't so he won't win. He was told to do it, and the guy was to, probably told to be prepared. Let's see here. You see, he's getting bump draft by his guy. So he goes faster. See, there's no reason for him to make contact with Legamo. The only reason he would do this is to make him crash. And this should be a penalty. Legamo should have been given the race. Legamo had like a half a... Watch, Legamo had a half a lap to go to win. But he did this to him so he would lose. And the guy, they want to win. Now let me show you how close it was to the end. You see this? They was a half a lap away. This is a lap. You see how quick that was? That's the crookedness of NASCAR.